Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Once again we're going to be doing a build, this time in a 1.5U Intertech chassis with two bays in the front for hard drives. This will be our Plex server for the future. We have some new components, some old ones, we'll just uh, go from the top here. Uh, the case is the Intertech 1.5U 1528L. The motherboard is the ASRock H510M ITX-AC, of which we will not be using the uh, Wi-Fi at all. The CPU is uh, an Intel Core 3 10100T, which is just a 35 watt CPU from Intel. Uh, I was going with a Pentium Gold at first, but uh, they were overpriced, so I got a second-hand deal on this 10100T, which will be more than plenty. The power supply is a Flex ATX unit from Silverstone, the FX350G, with a 80 plus gold rating. Fans are the Nocto NF-A6 60mm fans that will go in the front of the case. Now without further ado, let's uh, go into the unboxing and building process of this uh, new server for our rack. Now that the system is together, we can perform its first boot test. We can see that the power LED is coming on, so we've hooked that up, right? Now let's see, we get a post, and we do! Very nice! So now that we know that all the hardware is still working after we put it together, we know we didn't make any major mistakes. And here we have the BIOS. Alright, so now we can actually start uh, adding the hard drives. The hard drives that were used here are the same 8TB drives that I've used in my previous iteration of my Plex server. They are pulled and shucked Western Digital Elements drives, 8TB each, and they uh, bear the name WD80EDAZ. And here they're going into the chassis. Nice and snug. Here we are logged into the Plex server. As we can see, we have a couple of uh, programs on the desktop. VNC server, that's one of the two ways I use to remote into the system. Uh, VNC is a bit more universal than RDP is, so I decided to have both. Uh, of course, it's uh, secured with a good password. Synology Active Backup for Business is for backing up the um, C drive, so we can restore the operating system somewhat easily. And uh, there's another agent that will actually take care of the virtual machines uh, once we start piling them up on here um, if needed at all. We can see our different volumes here. Of course we have our OS volume. The data disk is for the 8TB Western Digital drives and this is another SSD that I added later. A 960 gig Samsung Enterprise SSD that will host the virtual machine data. Doesn't really need to be uh, redundant at all because it's backed up every night. 
So that takes care of that. We have the Hard Disk Sentinel, which is a very important program for monitoring the drive temperatures. The WD80 EDAS drives are some toasty boys. They are running at 45, 46 degrees at the moment, but uh, that's perfectly fine because they're being written to uh, quite rapidly at the moment. And uh, that should be fine for the uh, future. There was some nice cool airflow going over them uh, that I felt uh, from those Noctua fans, so I think we'll be okay right there. Um, going over to specs once more, we'll open the task manager so we can see what's happening. We have the Intel Core 3 t It's not running at 3 GHz all the time, it's usually between 800 MHz and 2.5 GHz, depending on the load. Memory-wise, we're really uh, doing quite nicely here. Just, uh, yeah, the 6 gigs of RAM, the UHD 630 graphics that will handle our quick sync for Plex once we've set that up and got all the data pumped over. And, um, I guess that is it for the software side of things. And that concludes our build for today. The system is all put together, hard drives are clicking away nicely, in the good way, and uh, everything seems to be in order. So Plex is not up and running quite yet. We'll be installing that once all the data is over and we can start uh, testing the quick sync performance and of course the power draw as well. Uh, this was not a build without its snafus. We had some uh, issues with the SATA cables getting a second drive connected and detected, but uh, everything turned out okay in the end. I hope you enjoyed this build video. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.